tutorial for you and this is going to be a look specifically for summer. Summertime is here. Actually it's well it's been here right it's the end of June almost July so it's been here and it is so so hot in Hawaii it is humid and icky and I'm sure it is um, other places around it's just really really hot so I wanted to do a makeup look that incorporated a lot of summer colors because summer means gold light colors nudes bronzers and ambers yes summer is here. So I made this look. It's really, really wearable. It's not a night look. It's definitely daytime. I would wear it out. It's not heavy at all. It's uh, very, very sheer and um, I hope the lighting isn't too bad and you can For see. For many of us, summer becomes a time where we all need employment. We all get summer jobs because we want something. So we work for three, four months and we save up. Or if you're a student and you go back to school in fall, you know, summer employment is just a way to make some cash. So in favor of summer employment and saving money, I have done this look within a very, very affordable makeup product and I am going to be using Maybelline New York's Expert Wear Eyeshadow Palette right here. And why do I say it's affordable? I mean, come on. Okay, you get four colors right here. Check this out. So you have this nice lid color and it's this gorgeous 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 amberish gold you have three matte colors your base your liner and your crease it tells you okay it tells you how to put it on if you're you know a beginning uh, makeup artist or you just want to experiment it tells you and get this it is five dollars yes I'm not joking no no I'm not joking no really I'm not joking it is five dollars and it's such it's such a great These deal pigments stay on and especially for summer you don't want your makeup too cakey you don't want the feeling of having so much on because of the heat and the humidity but you also don't want things to run you want things to last you want things to shine and Maybelline's palettes just do exactly that I can't honestly I can't rave enough about this it seriously is the greatest deal ever at a drugstore. I am such a huge fan and I can't wait to try more of these. As always, we're going to start by priming our eyes. I'll list the product over the video and down below so you can see what I'm using. Use a small flat brush to grab some of the lid color and it's that gorgeous, nice, summery bronze feel that we want. So pack it all over your eyelid and continue to build up towards your brow bone. I'm using a big angled brush to grab some of that base color and I'm going to put that right beneath my brow. Then with the liner brush, I'm going to grab some of the base color at the very tip and begin to fill in my inner tear duct. Now we're going to go to the crease color with a crease brush. And then we begin by filling in our crease from the outside in using windshield wiper motions. Don't worry about getting it messy. Use the same brush to grab the liner color, which is darker brown, and fill out your outer V. Really, really pack it in. Take a blending brush and blend away. Grab a light cream base color and put that right beneath your lash line. Now with our same small flat brush from before, let's pack a little bit of that gold right underneath. Put it on top of the cream to set it. Take some of that gorgeous dark liner color with either a dark liner brush or a smudger brush and put that beneath your bottom lash line. Take your favorite black liquid liner and line the top of your lash line. We're not going to do a wing this time, we're just going to do a bold straight line with kind of a stubby end. You'll see it in a bit. using a light brown waterproof liner and I'm gonna line my inner waterline with that. This will help add a nice little pop and a little shine and shimmer but it's not too dramatic because we want it to look sun-kissed. Now it's time for my favorite part and that is to curl your lashes and put your favorite coat of mascara on. I'm not gonna wear falsies only because I think it looks great without it. It gives it a more natural feel and it allows the pigments to really shine and shimmer on its own. We did it! Here's our eyes! Now to our face! 
for my blush it's a baked blush um, baked looks have just that nice shimmer and it kind of I guess in a way almost gives off that shine as if a bronzer would and because I'm pretty tan or I think I'm tan enough you can't really tell in this video but I think I'm a little more tan and because I'm in Hawaii you get tanned easily I um, don't always prefer rain bronzers they're nice they're great but I'd prefer to wear them at night more night than day so I opted for using um, using a blush and I'm gonna use Laura Geller's baked blush it's so great love it love it love it love it. For my lips, I am just using Bare Minerals. Here we go. Ginger Snap, which is this gorgeous nude. And there's a tint of a little reddish color in it. Just to help pop your look because the eyes are so nude and, not, I'm sorry, not nude, but they're so natural and they're very light and goldy. Thank you so much 